Hello everyone, welcome back to Align Soul. We're hanging out today. So today is going to be a relatively short video Hi. because I really wanted to just showcase one of the TikToks that I recently posted. So I'm adding a little bit of a background as to why I'm sharing it, why is it relevant, and see if you see yourself within, <laughs> within those stories. So the video that you're about to see is going to be all about talking about how a couple of little things that happens in childhood, it doesn't even need to be in childhood, it could have been in just, it happens in the past, can really shape and kind of draw a picture of how you will view your financial health. And it sets the foundation for how you view abundance and essentially sets down the roots into beginning your relationship with money. Now, the reason why this is important is because this is sort of the base foundation of what can create a whole host of problems, which is why I thought that this would be interesting to not only share, but see if you see yourself in any of these stories. I'm pretty sure that you're going to see a resonance. I'm pretty sure that you're going to see some elements that you have potentially lived through or you heard in the past. But what I really want you to take away from this video today is just the fact that ultimately you do have a choice to rewrite how you move forward. The moment that you have awareness around something that is taking place is the moment that you have clear choice for you to shape it and shift it. So that's exactly what, um, what my intention is with this video. And without further ado, why don't we just roll the clip? I want to talk about how an $150 leather jacket ruined my relationship with money for more than a decade. This story really just goes to show the messages you hear about money growing up really can shape your future in positive or negative ways. I was 15 years old and I had just gotten my first paycheck from my first ever job. I think my paycheck was something like $300. I went to the mall with my mom and brother and was excited to spend some money. BB was really popular at the time and so I went in there and I saw this gorgeous leather jacket, like a leather jacket that would still be popular today. It was classic. It had a really nice shape to it, really nice hardware on it, and it was $150. I thought to myself, I really want this jacket. I want something like this. This is a great investment. I probably didn't use the term investment at the time, but I knew I would have this jacket for a long time, so I bought it. When I met back up with my mom and brother, they were like at another store. I pulled out the leather jacket, super excited to show my mom the smart purchase I just made and she flipped out at me. She was like, why would you spend your money on something like this? Like, this is your first paycheck, are you stupid? You're gonna be a frivolous spender just like your father. And I was so crushed because I thought I was making a smart decision, investing in something of good quality rather than just spending my money on a bunch of little cheap things. We got into a huge fight, uh, as we often did, and that was the end of it. But it wasn't the end of it in here. You see, I've had a lack mindset almost my entire adult life, and I believe it stemmed from this incident. Every time I went to spend money on something that would be considered an investment, I would clam up, freeze, uh, feel ice running through my veins, because I remember the lessons from that conversation, that there is no smart investment, that I have to be frugal you know, with everything that I do. It was this mindset that held me back from starting my own business for so long. Because you know, you gotta spend money to make money, but I was afraid of spending money on anything. I've shed certain people from my life this year, and what do you know it? My lack mindset turned into an abundance mindset. I look at investment pieces now in terms of, okay, how much money is this going to save me in the long run? Or how much money is this going to make me in the long run? For example, I just canceled my gym membership because I was only using it for a treadmill and I bought a home treadmill instead. This home treadmill is going to save me so much time and so much money in the long run. Not having to drive to the gym, find parking in Chicago. These are all factors that I consider now because I don't have that lack mindset. And by the way, that leather jacket lasted me until I was 26 years old. That's 11 years. And if I find a similar one, you better believe I'm buying it. Seeing examples of exactly how your in environment, culturally, pop culture, 
the things that you consume and just deep conditioning that it that gets passed down to you from your parents from your siblings from teachers from everyone around you shapes the way that you ha have and build the relationship with money and with wealth and with abundance now the beautiful thing is that when you become aware of this, when you become aware that everything around you is completely set up for you to obey and to be broke and to fear money and to fear to fear abundance and to basically it's all set up against you. Now, I'm not here to really talk to you about if that's OK or not OK, but it's just it just is. That's just how it is. And when you become aware of it, then then the work begins. Then you can begin to work on rewiring and reframing all those different elements that either trigger you into scarcity that really showcases and how much truth it holds. Like it allows you to really challenge those belief systems and really ask yourself if this is still yours. Because a lot of the times we take on belief systems that our entire environment kind of produces for us, right? So if somebody says something on TV or you see it in a TV show, we are more likely to believe it. And these are all subconscious programmings. So therefore, when you're rewiring them, you have to rewire them on a subconscious level. Now, I'm not here to really do that with you but i just really wanted to point out just one way how that can mess you up years later on something so minute as a negative comment that you receive from your mom about what you should buy and you shouldn't buy and what is a good investment or not i'm going to be teaching more about this and hopefully um, we will be releasing the course actually in october when we're really going to go from like the scarcity mindset, this unconscious programming into actually consciously consuming, consciously consuming content, consciously shopping, all of those things. I'm really focused more on shopping, but I mean, to be honest, it relates to all areas of your life. And I cannot wait for you guys to really dive in because I, I see it in multitude of ways of how it can really mess you up in day to day life. The more you're aware of sort of how your environment shapes the way that you think, the more you have a choice of reshaping that environment into a more positive one and into a more productive one. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. So I'm going to be releasing a lot more of these short format videos because in the midst of it all, in the midst of the chaos, I'm also currently working on actually putting together the components of a three week program. I'm shooting for about three weeks of an intensive program that we can work together where we're going to be really taking you through this transformation of going away from being a shopaholic, being addicted to shopping, into becoming a more conscious consumer so if that's something that interests you let me know in the comments because i'm also creating a baseline where you can kind of even create a quiz where you can see if you are addicted to shopping if your shopping addiction or if your shopping habits are imbalanced or not so keep an eye out for that just drop a comment in the comment section in this video let me know that you are interested i would love to include you within this community so we can work a little bit closer together Thank you so much for your support, for your love, for your concern. It really truly does mean a lot to me and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.